Frank Frangie, along with Hayes Carline and Lauren Brooks. And a pleasure to welcome in the quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, who gets set for uh, another season in the NFL. Trevor, thanks for joining us, man. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. I appreciate y'all having me. Hey, Trevor, you've been through you've, – so you've been through two training camps now, and, and it's widely documented that the leadership is different. We all know that. Yet you also have a season under your belt. How, how different do you feel now going into an NFL season, uh, more prepared maybe after doing it one time before? Yeah, I feel I feel more prepared. I think that comes from um, the way the way that we've prepared throughout the off season in camp, but also just having a year of experience as well. So I feel more prepared. Uh, I think I feel more confident. Um, and then just I'd say just our team. There's a really good really good energy around the locker room and in the facility, and uh, guys are just ready to roll. So we're all we're all really excited. Hey Trevor, it's Hayes. Great to talk with you. Uh, you and Doug now get to game plan for an opponent. How excited are you to get that process going as you look to week one against Washington? Uh, we're, we're super pumped. Like I, like I said um, earlier, I was talking to the media, just to, to be able to put all your focus on an opponent instead of just, you know, installing your offense, adding a few wrinkles, and then just going against the defense. And, you know, you know you're, this is your own team, so you're not going to game plan every day for your defense, but just trying to, trying to practice every day like that can be can be tough so it's nice to be able to put everything into a game plan against another opponent so that's that's been fun the last two days have been great uh, i think we got a really good jump right now on the game plan so feel great about it hey trevor it's lauren thanks so much for joining us when it comes to the moves that were made recently i know it's got to be hard you're close with laquan treadwell and close with lavisca chenault and then those guys are no longer here but a guy like tim jones makes it can you walk us through the, kind of the emotions of all the last few days yeah i mean it's always it's always tough i think throughout camp both years has been just crazy to see how things happen and just the business side of, of this game it's sometimes sometimes sucks you know being friends with everyone and then you know things you have to do um it's it just I've, no one likes that. I don't think anyone in the building likes those days. So that's tough. But you know, then but it's twofold. Then you got a guy like Tim, who's you know I kind of I know him from last year. We came in together and to see just how much work he's put in to get this opportunity and to take advantage of it and to have a great preseason. I'm equally as happy for him. But to see you know guys like Quan and Lavisca not be here anymore. Obviously, those are guys that you know I was close with and had a good relationship with and um, gonna miss them. But at the end of the day, the the business side of things, you know, kind of takes over, and you just got to keep moving forward with who's here. And I really love the group that we have here, and um, you keep that relationship with them, but obviously uh, not here anymore. Trevor Lawrence with us, Jaguars quarterback, as he gets set a week and a half from the trip to Washington. Trevor, we've gotten to know Doug. I've gotten to know him really well. Man, I really like him. I, I, I mean, I really like him, and I've known a lot of head coaches. What makes him a special guy to play for? He's an offensive guy. We know that. But I think it's more than that, isn't it? What makes Doug Peterson a special uh, coach to play for? Yeah, I just think uh, his understanding of, of, of us as players and being in our shoes, I think that helps a lot. And you know, having a long NFL career and just a lot of different experiences to pull from. And, and I think that's the main thing is just knowing that he's been in our shoes. I think that earns a lot of respect from the guys. And then just the way he carries himself. You know, he's not a big – Rah rah, loud guy in your face, but just a, a calm confidence that he carries throughout the facility, at practice, whatever it is. There's no panic in him, and that's that's something that I really really love, and I think that that's something that I try to do as well. So it's nice when you know myself and the head coach are aligned, and uh, it's been awesome, and just to see how he works, and I think the guys have responded really well, and but also he knows how to get the most out of us as players. You know, camp wasn't camp wasn't easy. He made it tough on us, but. Um, understanding everything's for a reason and I think we got a lot better so it was great Trevor he told me one of the first things you have to do is you got to gain players trust and in this case maybe regain the trust because it was a difficult year last year did you sense that in the early on when you guys met him that 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 was a a real priority for him yeah I think the way he, he handled just from the beginning when he came in and the way he addressed the team and built out one the the team the roster and then also um in kind of instilling the culture here and, and trying to trying to instill his culture that he's kind of carried with him and i think he's done a great job with that and people have bought in and um you can you can feel it shifting and just the attitude the general attitude the atmosphere the energy um all of that in the facility has just been awesome and i think that's something that you know gets overlooked a little bit but when you have you know you're here for six months straight sometimes longer 
um, coming to work with guys every single day. You want to have a good environment. That makes a huge difference down the stretch in the season. Trevor, what kind of ground game do you think you guys can have? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to be really good. I think we got a few really good backs. Obviously, um, Travis and James um, are going to be awesome. It's going to be fun to watch them uh, play together. And then the other guys we got, you know, we got we got Snoop as well, and uh, he's he's looked great in preseason. Um, and then just to see the dynamic ability that you know Travis has obviously really explosive can make a bunch of plays run game passing game all that and then James James is a great back and just can't wait to have him back there beside me again you know last year obviously didn't finish the way we, we wanted and he just makes a huge difference and um, when he's in the backfield so I'm excited to, to play with them. Trevor another major difference between last year and this year is you had a veteran center and now you've got a rookie center how has it been working with Luke Fortner? Yeah, it's been great. Um, Luke's done an awesome job. He's a really smart guy. Uh, he's picked up the offense super fast. Just to see that his his pro- his progression from spring until now, I mean, every day just getting better and better and better. And when he sees something one time, he remembers it and makes the adjustment. And I think that's something you got to be able to do, obviously, especially as a young player. Um, and then I say young player, he's two years older than me, so obviously he's mature. Um, and that's that's kind of weird, rookie coming in and – I'm on my second year, and he's still two years older than me. So uh, we get along really well, though. I like the way he carries himself, and uh, I think he's he's doing a great job, and he's just going to keep getting better. Trevor Lawrence with us, the Jaguar quarterback. Look, you're in a city with one pro team. You know that. You've been here. The uh, It's been a tough go for a long time, and that predates you. Yet there's pressure on players and coaches to do more. And, I, look, you've had that pressure since the ninth grade. I get that. But do you feel that? How do you manage that? Everywhere you go, you're you're posing for pictures and signing this and that. Is that something that's hard to manage for you? I mean, you know, it's uh, I think it's a little easier in in Jacksonville than you know if you're in somewhere like like New York City or a huge city like that. I think that's a little more challenging. There's places I can get away, and uh, people are really really respectful around here, which is which is great. But yeah, I mean, I think there's a, there's that sense. I wouldn't say pressure necessarily, but there's just that sense of urgency um, from within. Honestly, with myself, just everywhere I everywhere I'm at, I just want to make it the best I can, and you know, that, including Jacksonville being here now and trying to trying to make this place great. And I know we can do it, and we got a lot of the guys here that can do it too. So I'm excited about the future, and then obviously just for the city, I think it's going to be such a cool thing when when we get rolling, how, how this city's going to light up. And I know us as players, we take a lot of pride in that. Trevor, what kind of strides were you able to make with some first-year players here, Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, and Evan Ingram? Yeah, I think we're, we're clicking really well. Um, just building that chemistry throughout spring, um, off-season, and, and camp has been, has been great, I think, every day. Obviously, like you're seeing, you're seeing new things in practice and the preseason games, and you're, ta- you're constantly talking about different looks and um, just building that rapport. And I think those guys have done a great job. Um, all of them are just super committed, hardworking guys, want to get better. And I think every day we've just taken a step and getting closer and closer to where we want to be. And just throughout the season, we're going to keep doing the same thing. Trevor Lawrence, Jaguars starting quarterback on the Fair and Fair phone line. Trevor, are, how excited are you and how ready are you to have Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker going after a different quarterback now? <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm glad I couldn't get hit in hit in the uh, in camp because those guys are those guys those guys are awesome. Um, and I mean, our guys our guys have done a great job up front. It's been a great challenge for us, honestly, just having to block guys like that every single day. And our guys have done an awesome awesome job. So I'm confident in where we're at as a unit up front, especially at the tackle position. I think we've we've done a great job. But yes, I'm really excited just to see those guys play because. Those are two beasts off the edge. And then we got so many other guys, too. You got Smoot, Arden Key, uh, a lot of guys that can play up front. And then linebacker. I mean, just all across the board. I'm excited to see the defense fly around. I mean, we're, we're fast. The guys have been playing really fast. So it's going to be fun to watch them get after another team. Trevor, final thing here. Obviously, uh, the game's a week and a half away. But I, I imagine you guys are in game planning mode at this point. Have you seen enough from the Washington defense, what you expect it to be? Obviously, it's different than last year. Can you get much of a feel for what you're up against in a week? Yeah, you know, we've, we've started. Um, we've started game planning, and I feel like we we got a good jump right now. And like where we're at, I'd say um, 
obviously it's every week there's a, it's a challenge you're playing in the NFL every every team's going to be going to be good and, and do different things well so you know they pr- present some ch- some challenges those guys especially two guys inside up front um Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen they they do a really good job really really good players so that's that's a challenge um but also you know I believe in our guys and our guys have done a really good job our, our three interior guys so um they're really good I think just the safeties do a really good job of, of disguising. They do some good things, and then across the board, um, they got some. They got some good looks. Obviously, that you got a game plan for. I don't want to get too into it, obviously, but um, it's going to be a challenge. But we're we're ready for it, and we're excited. Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Hey, Trevor, I know you get a lot of demands, man. Thank you for spending some time and, and kind of the way you represent us all. You've done a fantastic job. Hey, good luck, man. We're looking forward to watching it. We appreciate you joining us. Yeah, I really appreciate y'all. Enjoyed it. Thank y'all for having me.